Hey guys, it's Liar here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to you guys another theory video. And this video, I'm going to be discussing what I believe the new Block Roger skin is going to be. Now, there's a lot of theory and speculation involved for this video. I'm going to be dealing some storyline towards it. I'm using that to figure out what the skin will be. Before I go any further, I need to say some stuff from the last video, which I was corrected by. The Block Roger skin is not, I repeat, not a technique skin. <laughs> Technique. 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 Last video, if you watched it, I said that it was a, it has a good chance of being the technique skin. Basically, on the poster for season four before season four came out, there's a poster with four faces on it, and basically one of the faces was a technique. But I didn't know that it was a technique. I thought it was something else. It looks different in my opinion. It did not look like the technique skin. Uh, it looked like it had a glass face, a glass mask, and that's what I thought the new skin was because it looked completely different. It looked like some kind of glass mask or firefighter mask, and honestly, it looked like the it was that was going to be the skin so it is not the technique skin i'm sorry i got it wrong in the last video i did not know the technique skin until after that video was released now also from the last video i want to say that the new skin will not be brainiac it will not be the terminator and it will not be bane those are also skins i suggested uh the reason why it's not going to be brainiac or bane is because before i recently had a thanos game mode which means they're pretty close with marvel so they wouldn't want to ruin that kind of friendship with Marvel to kind of destroy that by adding in DC skins. So it will probably not be a Brainiac skin. It will not be a Bane skin, even though I really want those skins. But sadly, it won't be because that's how it is. Usually Marvel and DC don't like to cross the same path unless you're Deadpool, which Deadpool is probably not the skin, even though it's already been a custom made and people want that skin. But I just don't see it happening right now. Maybe later down the line. We don't know. And also, Deadpool does not look like that skin. Just to <laughs> clear it all out. So yeah, if it's going to be a superhero skin from movie or comics, it's going to be a Marvel skin. And it's not Terminator because... Uh, so basically, from the last video, I said Terminator says get to the chopper, which I didn't mean that. And I didn't say that. I was basically quoting a YouTuber by the name of Terrorizer, making a joke about it, where he says get to the chopper because he imitates Arnold Schwarzenegger. And all of the movie roles that he's been in he's funny gotta go check him out but but i'm not dumb i know that that line isn't from terminator all you guys commented saying that i got it wrong but i knew that it wasn't from that movie sorry that you guys thought that i thought it was from that movie but the quote get to the chopper is from predator and that's also gonna be really important news because i'm gonna be using that later on as uh some theory or speculation but i'll say that later on in the video also want to state that the new block skin will not be the leviathan skin People were saying that it's going to be the Leviathan. If you don't know what the Leviathan is, it's the fish skin with the suit, which looks horrible in my opinion. But people were saying that it's going to be that skin. There's literally no point to adding another Leviathan skin. That would be a huge ripoff. If you could buy the skin, but get a different version of it free, that would be really dumb. But yeah, it's not the Leviathan skin, guys. Uh, no matter what people are saying, the theories, Blockbuster skin is not the Leviathan skin. Some people were saying it's going to be in the mid-year as well, which I don't think it's going to be though. So yeah, no Leviathan skin. Please don't. That would be really dumb. Maybe it's a different kind of monster, but just not a Leviathan skin. Now I'm going to go over the storyline of season four now the storyline of season four is basically just a movie set and it's to take down the bad guy and this could also set up a future blockbuster skin movie maybe against omega maybe against carbide we don't know this is, we're gonna find out week seven because that's when it's gonna be released so until then we gotta use all the speculation all the details we have in the game so far and use that to figure out what it could be if it's gonna be a famous skin all we have for sure is what is gonna lead to the blockbuster skin is the loading screens these are 100 percent leading on to the blockbuster skin this uh, storyline this is not speculation we know that what this is because this is what the game's giving us it's giving us a loading screen it's leading similar to a comic so i'm gonna be showing you guys all the loading screens i only have three of them so far the first one uh, I already discussed this live in the last video, so I'm not going to discuss it again. Uh, this is the next one where he escapes from jail, the meteor hits. You can see a storyline clearly coming, showing up. We don't know how long he's been in here, we don't know his origins. Although there was a movie where it said Valor Origins, but it wasn't Omega Origins, so we don't know yet. And it says, Alas, I am free, we don't know how long he's been here. We don't know any idea, we have no information on him whatsoever so far. We didn't have any information on him before, so we're going to have to find out his backstory maybe later on. Maybe we'll actually get a legitimate movie on him. But we'll see. Poison says, I'll reclaim my power. I'll gather my allies and I'll have my vengeance. We don't really know who his allies are. This, except for the robots, which he makes. But those might not be his allies. Those are just his minions. So maybe he'll he'll get some allies in here. We know the ally is one of the skins that are coming out soon for this week. It's like a combination of Sinestro and Groot from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Which is weird because those are from different universes and the next one is a looming threat once again our heroes must unite and heed the call to action there's three more to show you but basically ones for week four where basically it's uh, omega rounding up his robots big five is basically 
uh, the enemies fighting and they're having an all out war. In week six, we see them casting the movie. They see them filming with the green screens and the casting together. So we know that's a movie, it's fake, which is kind of a bummer. But honestly, I feel like week seven is going to lead on to something different. It's going to reveal something cool to the story. I honestly don't think for Epic Games would go that route and say that it's actors in the movie, even though that's uh, around the map, there's a lot of cameras. So it was kind of like hinting towards that. But I think there's going to be something cool towards the ending of the season and week seven there's gonna be something leading on to the season five theme and there's definitely gonna be a season five theme it's not like they wouldn't do that definitely capitalize on something that big till then we're gonna be going over some theory and, and ideas of what it could be and hopefully it's these ideas because i really want them to be i also want to mention that whatever's inside the meteor might have a chance of being this skin because we're in week six and the meteor is almost open so next week it might be open a little more it might be fully showing the capsule and then in week seven the capsule might be completely open so we'll actually see it but we don't know just yet. It's like I said, everything's speculation until we actually find out. Nothing's 100% confirmed. Nothing. No one knows 100% of what's going to happen. Um, before we go over my ideas on the skins, I want to state something that I think could be a really good theory, in my opinion. As you know, in Risky Real, there's three titles displayed, three movies displayed every week. Or I think it's every week. Sometimes it doesn't change. But uh, basically, it shows three movie titles. And I feel like this has to do with something with Moisty Meyer and the movie sets and the filming area and the trailers. You don't know, there's three trailers there. So this could mean there's a movie store for every movie and they're just building together. These could be linked in my opinion because there's three movie titles and there's three movie trailer rooms if you didn't know. And yeah, they could be filming their movie and they could be playing them in that area. The last thing I want to go over for speculation is new Save the World quest, which was a blockbuster quest. I don't know what it is or what it has to do with blockbuster for Battle Royale. That might not even be linked. But if anyone plays Save the World and knows what the quest is, 100%. Uh, let me know and I'll heart your comment and I will comment and make even more theories uh, with you. Uh, that's like, I just want a discussion with you guys. So if you guys have any theories or anything on what these skins are going to be, uh, let me know. And that brings me to my next point, which is the ideas for the new skin. I took a lot of ideas that you guys suggested. So if you guys have any more suggestions, let me know. I will heart them and I might make a third video if I have enough time before the actual blockbuster skin gets leaked or comes out. But yeah, you guys made some good theories in the last video. Some that I didn't even think of. I don't know why, but you guys are you guys are a lot smarter than me. So the first suggestion that came by from the comments was Thor. Now, if you look at it, Thor does not look like the blockbuster skin. Let's be real. He's wearing goggles here. Thor does not wear goggles. But honestly, that was a good suggestion just because the area on where the meteor is uh if you've seen the first thor movie there's a scene that looks similar to that area where he tries to retain his hammer and that area basically looks like this area in my opinion there's a lot of tubes that look similar we're going around and that's what the guy who commented this said he said it looks like that area not to mention that around the map there's items and just random walls that say thor and some say mjolnir Milner is Thor's hammer, if you didn't know. It just adds up really nice, because, like, if there's all these writings on the walls, maybe it could be a Thor skin, maybe a Thor skin could be added in to later on if it's not the Blockbuster skin, or it could be added on to another season, maybe we don't know. Also, in the Battle Pass, there's also a Thunder Trail, which is also Thor's thing, Lightning. So, <laughs> I kind of, I was kind of hoping it would be Thor, but I honestly don't think anymore, just because Thor doesn't wear this kind of gear. He doesn't wear a helmet. He doesn't wear some type of mouthpiece or whatever. This is definitely some mask or helmet. And as you can see on his arm, he's got some kind of spacesuit, which it probably is a spacesuit. But you can see some features from it, just from the lighting. You can definitely tell he's wearing some sort of goggles, because you can see the shine on them. Uh, his helmet has something on the top of his head. And he's definitely got something covering his mouth. Maybe this could be a scorpion skin, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> that's, that's also something I forgot to mention. A scorpion or Mortal Kombat skin because Henley got Jackie Briggs with one of the skins. I forgot what it was called. Uh, it was one of the superhero skins. I think it's in the picture. That's basically Jackie Briggs. And this skin came out before season four was released or even announced on what the theme was. So yeah, this is a superhero. So maybe one of the skins that we get later on is going to reveal the next season. Uh, and I think it's too early to call it because that skin came out at the end of season three. Uh, so we're gonna have to wait a little longer to find out any theories on what the season theme could be. It's not what this video is about. This video is about the Blockbuster skin, so let's not get too off topic. Could be maybe Sub-Zero, could be a Mortal Kombat skin. There's still, like, it's still, it's gaming related, so it could, it has a chance. Maybe the next season is Mortal Kombat or video games in general. You get all the, all these ideas from other games. It'll be a huge marketing strategy for all the other games out there, because Fortnite is probably the biggest game in the world right now. So if other games try to get their skin in Fortnite, that will be a huge deal. Huge, uh, marketing strategy. If NRS does 
end up making a deal with uh, Fortnite adding a Mortal Kombat skin because Mortal Kombat is so iconic in my opinion. If they add in a Mortal Kombat skin, th this will be a this will be huge. In my like it just it'll just be so nice. They can add in so much stuff. It's enough for that. Uh, it could be any Mortal Kombat skin. I wasn't actually gonna put that in this video, but uh, you know that's also a good possibility that I forgot to add in. Anyway, the next skin I think it could be is Predator. Now this skin does not look like Predator at all. But well, this outline doesn't have to be what the blocker skin is supposed to be. This could be just be a random outline. This could actually be the rogue agent when you look at it. Earlier I said that uh, I made a quote about get to the chopper and that is from Predator. And there's also a, a skin that is basically from Predator. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's called Souls of the Beats, Balandor or something. Basically that's the dude from the Predator, the main protagonist I think. Yeah, he's basically in face paint and it looks like he's trying to like survive. And this could be the guy. There's definitely a good possibility that it could be Predator. The movie Crash like gets the chopper. This is a good reference. Moisty Meyer, Forest. It's 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 really good. And since Predator is technically an alien, this could be like alien theme. Predator is still a good example in my opinion. So we're gonna have to wait to find out. Uh, the next skin that I th think this could be is Magneto. The Magneto is a super villain from uh, Marvel, from the X-Men. Uh, he's been in a lot of movies. Maybe not recently, but uh, he's been in a lot of movies before. And this helmet kind of looks like Magneto, in my opinion. The top looks like Magneto. Maybe not the goggles, but they could change it to something. Maybe it might not even be goggles. It could just be the side of his helmet or the armor. That is shaped like that. Maybe the cover is ears. It doesn't have to be shaped like that. They can shape it however they want and make it look like that. And it could still be Magneto. And since it's still from Marvel, it's still a good chance it could be. Could have a cape, but it might not look like it. I don't think any of the superheroes in this season have a cape. I'm pretty sure they don't. Which would be really cool. A cape in this game, that would be sick. I might give away people, but like, I don't care. As long as you look good, that's what matters. But anyway, the next skin that it could be is Sentinel. Now, this is also uh, a theory from one of the subs or one of the people who commented. That he said that it looks like Sentinel. It's funny because I watched this literally right before that. I watched this scene from X-Men and it was just a Sentinels. And this honestly looks, does look like that. Kind of looks different because this looks like an actual helmet or mask, not like a face or a robotic kind of face. But, but this still could be Sentinel. So we don't, we do have to find out. Cause Sentinel is really strong but maybe not it's kind of unknown by many people so you won't know what it is but it still would be cool because the sword is really strong in the marvel universe if you didn't know he's really really overpowered but anyways go over the last skin which i think it could be uh, i've seen a lot of bad ideas and a lot of good ideas but an example of the bad idea is uh a titan from destiny 2 i don't think that will happen because this does not look like a titan people <laughs> making all these dumb fan theories uh like unrealistic fan theories at least like it'll be cool to see a titan in this game but i don't think it will happen especially with destiny 2 being so dry and dead right now but anyway the last idea that i think a skin could be is a random superhero skin basically a skin that is made by epic games it has a good chance of being a random superhero skin it might just be a random superhero skin it's really hard to tell just because like the outline it could be anything maybe the face itself is different all we know this could be like a barbie or like something we don't know but uh yeah this is probably going to be like a superhero skin it's probably gonna be the random superhero skin that they make of their own just like the other ones kind of gonna be a letdown because i didn't really like the superhero skins in this season uh like we had some random ones because it was technically superheroes uh we had this one which is a superhero we had this one which it look kind of looks like thor but it's not really thor because it's supposed to be some like army guy the next one was technique which is also a theme in uh season four they added in spray paint so this is technically another theme kind of wanted superheroes only they added in zoe which i have no idea why they added this in the skin is like the worst skin in the game if you use a skin like you're a scrub don't at me <laughs> for my subs man like for my current subs people who know me like you guys know how much i hate the zoe skin like it's so bad. We also got the Valor skin, which is a superhero similar to Wonder Woman. Uh, I also hate this skin as well. If you run this skin on me, I'm probably going to kill you because a lot of douchebag players use this skin with Zoe. Like, literally everyone that runs a Zoe skin is like the same type of player that just, I just hate them so much. And the last skin is, of course, the Omega, or as you can say, Omega, LEA style. There's only like three superheroes in this season, technically. Other ones are just kind of fake. They don't really have powers. It's kind of a letdown because they could have had so much. Maybe a Spider-Man skin of some sort. There's so many skins they could have added that people would have been hyped for. Marvel, especially. But they just didn't add any of it. They only added a Thanos skin, which wasn't even permanent. But yeah, I'm almost in this video. So I'm going to play a little bit after. It's going to be a letdown if it was a random skin that they made. Because, you know, but even if it did look cool. Because I kind of want to play with a known skin that would be more popular. Or get more. It would get more people to use it. Uh, if, even if it was a random skin that you have to buy, people would buy it, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, it could be even be an Allier skin, you know. Because, uh, <laughs> apparently the carbide skin's Allier skin. Even though it does nothing to do with Allier. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Enough of the memes on LEA. 
Anyway, that's the video, guys. Uh, one thing I will give you guys on is a potential new game mode coming. Uh, they can make a new Thor game mode with the Mjolnir. I've seen a lot of videos on that. Some are clickbait, but it's still really good. They can make so many ideas for game modes with these skins alone. If it is a known skin, if it is some sort of superhero skin that we've seen for maybe Marvel. Uh, hopefully, it's not a random skin because that will kind of defeat the purpose. But uh, yeah, that's the video, guys. Make sure you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. So it supports the channel and helps me grow. But yeah, that's the video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Please, Fortnite gods, have mercy on me. Three, two, one, drop it.